We have a bread emergency. Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am sitting in front of Walmart. As you may already know by my intro, I need bread. My mother needs bread. Did not know that it was an emergency. She sort of ran out last night. She went into a panic last night because she only had two slices left. And if she ate them last night, then she'd have none for today. So I think she said she had a half a slice which probably made a total of like seven and a half slices for the day. <laughs> Hot alert! People right next to me need the car and AC on. What am I thinking? Holy shit, it's 63 degrees. But it's probably 103 in this car. Uh, uh, I'm in a pretty good mood. However, I realized yesterday, I was like, why does my face feel like hell and it's because of allergies my eyes are so itchy and the guts the sniffles my eyes are watery i but it's the itching that bothers me so much and i just feel all puffed not the regular because i'm over 300 pounds kind of puffed but the allergies kind of puffed i don't know i just feel like shit in this aspect but i feel pretty good elsewise so i don't know i might get myself some allergy meds i just don't know they don't seem to work for me i know zyrtec did but the last time i took a zyrtec i wanted to sleep for three days which was unusual so i don't know maybe it's because i'm eating meat and, and that the meds work stronger or something i don't know but i'm going in for bread and a few other things. My mother wants bananas and apples and more bread. <laughs> I am trying very hard to not buy any sweets because she has enough. And she has all that, um, those gooey bars that I made her, the pineapple, nuts, and coconut. And she still has some coffee cake that I bought here quite a while ago. That's still in the freezer, part of it. She still has some pie. She doesn't have cookies. I think she has one cookie left in the freezer. So if they had some cookies, I wouldn't be against buying that. Let's just go in, let's see what we can do. And um, I'll talk to you again in the store and when we get out of the store. I shopped a lot already. I got myself my allergy pills, but these are not for my actual allergies. These are my sleep aid. It's just the equivalent of Benadryl, and I take them only at night. I wanted to check at the pharmacy to see what they have on their, like, cheapy meds list, and then I'm going to just call my doctor and say, will you prescribe such and such so I can get allergy pills for 10 bucks for three months because I have no insurance. But they're closed for lunch. I also got Equate. Elka seltzer just because addiction got my mother's extra strength um, arthritis strength Tylenol equate somebody's right behind me I spun out of there like a mad woman and she wants apples and she loved the gala apples that I got her this was just under three dollars for a three pound bag got her 1.25 pounds of celery for 274 I think bananas uh, 49 cents a pound and not on her list but I got her two uh, vine ripe tomatoes now we need to go get some canned beets ketchup and mustard and then we'll hit the bread I just talked to a peanut gallery member Pamela she uh, works here I've mentioned her before when did we chat last? Oh, I was looking for lard the last time. Anyway, we chatted a little bit and she asked me if I needed help and I was like, I'm looking for vegetables and ketchup and mustard. So I got the vegetables. My mother just wanted canned beets. She likes to pickle her own beets by just putting vinegar in the can. Um, well, whatever container she stores the beets in. But I'm gonna get her a can of pickled beets for the heck of it. And then two cans of uh, sliced beets, just regular. These are 68. The pickled are 88? Yes, 88 cents for the pickled beets. 20 cents more for vinegar. I can't remember if I bought her pickles recently. I'm getting her a jar of dill. She goes through them pretty fast, so it's just that I don't like to fill up her fridge with things because it's just little, but I can keep them on my side if needed. Um, now ketchup and mustard. All right, ketchup. This one is 134 for 20 ounces. 
Mustard is 98 cents for 14 ounces. Great value brand. I remember when I always got things like mustard for free. Those couponing days are over and now I don't give a fuck about prices. I just don't. Just got done saying I don't care about prices and I suddenly care. 298 for this. Don't like. And I got her sandwich bread for 138. It's a big loaf. That'll last her three days. I'm actually done and it's hot in here. So I think I'm just going to check out and I will talk to you in the car. <sighs> terrible lighting. I don't know if there's any place with shade. And terrible angle. <laughs> it's all just terrible. I was just walking around aimlessly in the store. Nothing was jumping out at me. I am hot. It was hot in there. It's hot walking around. Oh, my nose is continuously dripping because of allergies. And I did not end up getting any meds for that. I just don't like to take pills of any kind. I just don't. They might help in one way, but then they usually make me feel shitty in another way. So, oh. I thought it was best that I just end the shopping trip and we go home and play. Don't know what to do. I will be doing a Mailbag Monday video. I'll probably record that later so I can have it up, like maybe after midnight tonight. So we'll do Mailbag Monday. only have two packages, but I want to get those opened before my trip because I won't be doing any peanut gallery mail that weekend that I'm gone. I also wanted to mention that someone asked how the painted horse held out after it dried. I did that last night and it's absolutely fine. I'm very anxious to find other things to paint. I really can't even think of other things to talk about right now. I just want to go home and I was going to say cool off, but I don't have one air conditioner in the window. It's nice outside. It's just hot inside. But I'm just going to go home and chillax, and I'm sure I'll find something to do. Like I said, maybe I'll record Mailbag Monday today and have that ready to upload tomorrow or after midnight. So do at some point. Watch for that. And I might do another video a little later. I don't know. Let's just go home. And sorry I wasn't, like, all fun and jumping around. I think the allergies just, they're just weighing me down. I mean, my head just feels messed up. So that's it for now. I will be back with more soon. Bye! I have also been asked several times if I will be recording my flight to Memphis and assuming that I can get a window seat, I will indeed at least record takeoff and landing for you.